Now let us see in a practical way that how we can use a ternary operator in our X++ code. So for that let's go to jobs and create a new job over here. And let us rename our job to ternary operator over here. And I will take an integer uh, variable of a comma b comma c. So I take a three in three integer variable, and I will say that a is equals to one hundred, and I will say that b is equals to two hundred. And what we'll do now is that c is equals to uh, we will use a ternary operator over here a sorry it's uh, okay it's a less than b and then we close the bracket over here and we have ternary operator over here then we'll say that we will print out uh, 100 and we will say else we'll print 200 and what we'll do is print we want to print c and we also have to pause it over here and let's try to run this one we scale the 100 why we why we are getting 100 is because if this the if this expression is true then the first then the second here we have a three expression what we see as one expression and this is a second expression and this is a third one so if the first expression is true which is uh, a is less than b which is 100 is less than 200 then the second expression get executed and if this is false then we get a a third expression evaluated so let's say that we have here uh, a is equals to 300 and let's try to run this one more time and we get a 200 so what we'll say that is yes and which means that if if this is false then a third expression get evaluated so we can also say over here that mm, a is a is uh, less than B over here and here we will say that uh, A yeah, A is greater than B so what we'll do is okay and what we'll do is let's run this so we have some error over here let's try to fix the error that we are getting over here the error is because we are assigning here so we say we have to give str as we have str s s and sorry we have str s and we will say that s over here and we will print out the s s here because s is a string and just now we take us integer over here that's why it was not working let's try to run it so a is greater than b a is greater than b yeah this is 300 is greater than 200 that's why the this is false and the last statement get or the last expression got executed so this is a simple a way that we can use a ternary operator in x plus plus and we'll see the another one um, uh, on how to use a ternary operator which is uh, more complex than a current one so let's go down over here and we will use a, another ternary operator so let's take an another example of a ternary operator over here and for that we will use s is uh, equals to and we will say open a two a bracket over here and say a is greater than 100 and i will just close the bracket over here and we'll again say if a is greater than 100 
then we go to the next statement and we will open a bracket over here and we'll say b is less than uh, 200 and then what we want to do is uh, we give a ternary operator over here and we'll say that uh, give a string that if a is greater than 100 then we'll say a is uh, sorry we we'll just write a is is greater than 100 uh, also if this is uh, if if here then what we'll say that is b sorry we just have to give a b is uh, less than 200 over here we'll close the bracket over here and we have a uh, semicolon and we'll say that if this is false if this is false then should evaluate the last statement which is uh, here we have to give a each sorry a each less than 100 we'll close the bracket over here and we'll say print over here and s so what we are actually doing is uh, we are saying that if a here a is greater a is greater than 100 then it will again it will go to the evaluation of the second expression over here b is less than 200 so if this is true then it will go to here if this is false then it will print a is less than 100 over here if this is true then it will go to b is less than uh, 200 and if this statement is true then we will say over here sorry it's, it should be b b is uh, b is sorry it should be b is less than 200 and if this is false then we'll say b is greater than 200 so that should make sense and let's try to run it and we get a b is equals to 200 b is greater than 200 so if we see here b is here it's getting over yes b is greater than 200 why we are getting b is greater than 200 because it's the a is greater than 100 a is greater than 100 this is true then it will go over here then it will evaluate b is less than 200 no it's false because b is equals to 200 so this will evaluate over here so let's uh, give a try over b is less than uh, 200 so we will make it as a uh, one 100 over here and let's try to run it one more time and we get a b is less than 100 which is the first expression over here and if we make it like a a a each less less than 100 so this is a false and it should go over here so let's try to run this one more time and we get that a is greater than b oh, sorry here yeah, a is less than 100 so it's getting a is less than 100 so this uh, this is how we are actually evaluating our ternary operator over here and if we see if we try to convert this to the if if statement uh, let's see that how it should be look like if statement and let's get if and we'll open a bracket over here and we we'll close the bracket if uh, we will say here a is less than b right if a is less than b here we are doing a is less than b then uh, we are printing this so we we'll say print this over here and else else we will print out this one so th this is a
same as a if else statement that we are saying if a is less than b then we will print this one else we will print this one so this, if this is true it will go here and if this is false it will go over else one so same over here if this is true then it will print the first second expression and if this is false it will print out the third expression so similarly same over here uh, if this is true then it will go over here uh, and second expression and if second expression is true then it will print the third expression else it will print the fourth expression and if this is false it will directly print the our last uh, statement over here so this is a, a some simple uh, scenario that how we can use a ternary operator in x plus plus and hope you guys had some um, basic understanding on how to use a ternary operator and if you can all also try to convert this to if if else statement and see whether you can make it up not and if you have any question over it do let me know and i will see you in the next video till then have a great day